Hi, I'm Gabriel Cartarella, National Brand Ambassador for Dewar's. Welcome to the Single Malt Collection. John Dewar & Sons has some of the most flavorful and diverse single malts born in the Speyside and Highland region. I've got five stories to share with you about these exquisite malts, which are just now being shared with the public. You ready to take a closer look? Let's go. When it comes to selling, it's not about volume. It's about sharing these hidden gems. These videos will give you the tools you need to increase your Scotch whiskey knowledge, enabling confident and effective selling of the Bacardi whiskey portfolio, facilitate trade up, increasing volume and margins, and increase our credibility with trade. Aberfeldy Single Malt Whiskey. Gaelic for pool of the water god, this liquid is the spiritual home and heart of Dewar's blended Scotch whiskey. Built in 1898, located in the central highlands of Scotland, not far from Perthshire off the River Tay, Aberfeldy uniquely sits on its own water source, the Patili Burn. Known for being rich in gold, Aberfeldy is often referred to as the Golden Dram. Because of its long fermentation process, it's complex, rich, and known for having notes of honey. Due to its sweet approachability, it's a great whiskey for those who enjoy Glenlivet and Macallan, appealing to consumers who love sharing great stories and making recommendations to impress others. 40% ABV, $45 a bottle, and available nationally. If you're lucky enough to have Aberfeldy 12 in front of you, let's take a closer look. First, let's look at the color. It's rich in gold with hints of amber, and the tears, slow and thick medium-bodied whiskey. Let's give it a nose. There's that honey we were talking about. Give it a taste, slunge. The honey sits in the middle of your palate. A little bit of spice with oak and citrus in the back, finishing incredibly smooth. When moving from Aberfeldy 12 year to 21 year, ABV stays the same, the price jumps to 195. Also available nationally, 21 is much more full-bodied, a lot more toasted oak. It's like honey poured over a fireplace. While there's no one way to enjoy Aberfeldy, I recommend neat, the dash of water, or on the rocks. The three most important things to remember about Aberfeldy the Patili Burn is rich in gold and exclusive to Aberfeldy Distillery. Our deliberately slow fermentation process around 70 hours, developing notes of honey character. And three, this whiskey's great for your Macallan and Glenlivet drinkers. Altmore was founded in 1897 in a location known as the Foggy Moss, which is referred to as the Bermuda Triangle of Speyside. It's this misty and mysterious place which is shrouded in fog is where locals would hide out, make their own drams in their illicit stills. Often referred to by locals as a nip of the Bucky Road, Altmore sits on the nine mile stretch to Bucky, which is in the heart of Speyside. Its water source, the atmospheric foggy moss, is filtered through gorse and heather for increased purity. Altmore attracts those who enjoy sharing their discovery of special edition, less well-known and smaller brands like Aberlauer. Sought after by big blending houses, Altmore is one of 12 distilleries to be ranked top class by the whiskey industry. Altmore 12 is $55 a bottle, 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, and no caramel coloring. Chill filtering is a method in whiskey making for removing fatty acids and proteins that cause the whiskey to cloud when chilled or when adding water. Unlike most Scotch whiskey, this single malt has no caramel coloring added. As you move up to Altmore 18 year, it's now $115 per bottle. It's also 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, and no caramel coloring with notes of bananas, pears, and spice. Starting this October, Altmore will be available in 12 select states and rolls out nationally October 2016. If you have Altmore 12 year in front of you, have a look at the color and the tiers. It's light and gold in color, and the tiers, nice and medium body, gently flowing down the glass. And on the nose, unpeated malted barley, grass, 
citrus and vanilla notes. Give it a taste. Again, with the green moss and grass, sweet honey notes and a lot of vanilla, finely balanced spirit. Altmore is best enjoyed neat, the dash of water, or on the rocks. The three most important things to remember about Altmore, its unique location, shrouded in fog, its unique water source, a foggy moss which is filtered through gorse and heather for increased purity, and its top 12 class ranking. Kergeliki was born at the epicenter of Speyside, where the rivers Fittick and Spey meet. It's known as the Rock of Speyside, and its flavor is as challenging as it is to pronounce. But there's a trick. Think of it as a love story. Craig fell for Ella, who gave her the key to his heart. Craig, Ella, key. Kergeliki. Kergeliki is one of the few facilities that still use old-fashioned worm tubs to cool the spirit, giving it weight, and retaining its character that develop over time. Each dram rivals whiskey's twice its age with its distinctive meaty character. To further reinforce that bad boy style, each age statement is given a prime number. Kregeliki loosely aligns to Lefroy and speaks to those who like to experiment and seek to know more about single malts, including the production process. This consumer is very open to adding new brands to their collection. Available nationally, Kregeliki 13 years, $55 a bottle. It's 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, and has no caramel coloring. Chill filtering is a method in whiskey making for removing fatty acids and proteins that cause the whiskey to cloud when chilled or when adding water. Unlike most Scotch whiskey, this single malt has no caramel coloring added. Also available nationally is Kregeliki 23 year at $300 a bottle. It's non-chill filtered with no caramel coloring at 46% ABV. It's a big and meaty, sweet and sulfury dram. Let's have a look at the color and tears. Deep gold in color, nice medium to long tears. On the nose, brimstone, or the aroma left behind after a struck match. Give it a taste. Sweet, but big and punchy with fire in its belly. An exceptional dram for those who like a big whiskey. The best way to enjoy Kregeliki is neat, the dash of water, or on the rocks. The three most important things to remember about Kregeliki, it's known as the Rock of Speyside. It's one of few distilleries that still uses worm tub condensers and its bad boy character with prime number age statements. The Devon was founded in 1960 in a historical fishing village in the northeastern Speyside region of Scotland. Situated on the banks of the River Devon inland from the raging North Sea, it's often referred to as the calm from the storm. While 1960 is considered modern in the Scotch world, their distillery style is a midpoint between old and modern style. It's the first distillery to use horizontal shell and tube condensers and a unique arrangement of five pot stills. Closely related to Glenmorangie, the Devon is for those looking for a more specific nose and taste rather than other influences. The Devon 12 year will be available this October in 12 select markets and roll out nationally October of 2016. It's $45 a bottle and 40% ABV and has notes of spice, apple, and grain. The Devon 18 year will also be available this October in 12 select markets and roll out nationally October of 2016. It's $115 a bottle and 40% ABV. Let's have a closer look at Devon 18. Beautiful gold color, and the tears, thick, quite lengthy, full-bodied whiskey. On the nose, ripe fruit, a bit of almond. Give it a taste. Rich and warm, the hint, something stormier. The best way to enjoy the Devon is neat, 
the dash of water, or on the rocks. Three important things to remember about Devrin. It's the first distillery to ever use horizontal condensers. It's a modern distillery signaling a new era in whiskey making, and it's for those looking for a specific nose and taste. Royal Bracklow was founded in 1812 near the world famous Cowdor Castle in the rich and fertile lands of the Moray Firth. Known for its traditional country sports and thriving wildlife, it's the Cowdor Burn that provides the water source for this unique Highland single malt. Known as the King's Own Whiskey and First Royal Distillery, it's the first single malt to be granted a royal warrant by King William IV, often referred to as the Drink Divine. What makes Royal Brackley unique is its long fermentation period and being finished in the finest deluxe Oloroso sherry casks. Bracla entices consumers who pride themselves on discerning taste and who often stick to brands regarded by others. Because of its opulent spices and sherry richness, Royal Bracla and other single malts like Belvini are coupled by preference. Royal Bracla 12 year is 40% ABV and $65 per bottle. It's a medium bodied whiskey with notes of almonds, vine fruits, and spices steeped in sherry richness. Royal Bracla 16 year. At 40% ABV and $130 per bottle, this medium to full-bodied whiskey is flush with notes of vanilla, soft caramel, and ripe apricot. Royal Brackla 21 year is 40% ABV and $225 per bottle. A big full-bodied whiskey with notes of dark chocolate, summer berries, and star anise infused with sherry sweetness. A dram truly fit for a king. Starting in October, all three expressions of Royal Bracklow will be available in 12 markets across the United States, and nationally, October of 2016. If you have a bottle of Royal Bracklow 16 year in front of you, let's take a closer look. First, let's have a look at the color. Notice the deep golden and amber coloration of this whiskey. And the tears, very long and thick telling me it's a medium to full-bodied whiskey. Give it a nose. Vanilla, nice ripe apricot. Give it a taste. Loaded with sherry sweetness, soft caramel, a little bit of spice. It's a beautiful dram. Royal Brackla is best enjoyed neat, with a dash of water, or on the rocks. Three things to remember about Royal Brackla. This was built in 1812, making it one of the oldest distilleries in Scotland. It's the first single malt whiskey to ever be granted a royal warrant, and it's finished in the finest sherry casks. <laughs>